Hi, it's Alex. Welcome back to my channel. We're on episode two of What the Frog. So thank you very much for all your brilliant comments and feedback uh, following my previous What the Frock video which was my uh, summer dress patterns from the indie pattern companies. This one is going to be uh, for summer dress patterns again but from the big four. And I've realised that the majority of them I haven't made and an awful lot of them I'm keeping because they could be useful or because there's elements of the dresses that I like or because they're sort of fairly standard classic shapes and things. So um, I'll go through that in a minute. A um, couple of things before I move on. I really need your help. I mean, I say really need, first world problems. Um, Obviously dresses are going to be what the frock and I figured that trousers or pants could be what a load of pants but I couldn't think of anything clever or funny for tops or outerwear or any of the other categories so if anyone's got any really good ideas on that let me know otherwise it's going to be favourite tops or something really unimaginative like that so any ideas please put them in the comments below, I really appreciate it. Um, there was a couple of dresses that I seem to have missed out last week and one of them I just have here is the um, Wixton shift dress which as you can see uh, I have a printed pattern from, I think I bought it from the Draper's Daughter. Um, it's a funny old dress this, when I first saw it, when it first came out I thought you know, there's nothing special about that, it's fairly standard, it's kind of boxy, yes it comes as a top and yes it's got pockets but what's the big deal? Maybe I'd seen a particularly inspirational image on Instagram or I'm not really sure what made me do it um, but I'm really glad I did. I made the striped version which I've shown you before and I'll put a thing in um, but it is actually a really really useful dress pattern to have um, so yeah don't dismiss it like I did and go have a look at the hashtag on Instagram because nearly every time you see one you think oh that looks like a great summer dress and the other one that got missed off uh, probably because I've talked about it recently is the jasmine dress from Therata Davies so I'll put a little card up there um, because I did some pattern testing for that so there's my review of that dress and that's one of those dresses that can be worn uh, winter summer you know kind of transitional it's got all sorts of options so that's another really good one so just before we get onto it the other thing that lots of people asked about and commented about was Trello itself and I am not a massively techie person I just followed the instructions and I don't know that I'm necessarily the right person to do a tutorial taking you through it what I did and I did put a link for one or two people that asked previously I followed the instructions on Helen's blog from Helen who hosts the Love to Sew podcast uh, with Caroline and she also has um, Helen's Closet patterns. She did a brilliant blog post explaining it step by step in a far better way than I could so again I will put that link in the description bar below but all I did was set it up following pretty much her format and then once I'd set it up adding to it is really easy so um, it's one of those jobs that's a bit boring but quite nice with a nice play on in the background or some music and then once you've done it it's it's good she also does it for her fabric but there's no way I could begin to um, you know organize my fabric that well it's not going to happen and Talking of fabric, I have been very good. I pledged not to buy any new fabric until the 11th of July. I haven't and uh, as is typical, the minute you tell yourself you can't do something you really want to and all I see at the moment are amazing fabrics that I really want to buy. Uh, but I've been very good and I have stuck to it and the money that I probably would have spent on fabric I've bought uh, something for my camera instead so the money's gone I cannot give in to temptation so roll on the 11th of July okay enough waffle from me I'm going to head over to Trello again and uh, I'll come back when I've done that 
So back on Trello, back in dresses and starting off with the big four. These are summer dresses only, although in most cases they can be both. Uh, this is McCall's M7381. It came free with Love Sewing magazine, not entirely sure when. Um, but I really like this one. I'll make it at some point. I particularly like this version here, although knowing me I'd probably make it a longer skirt. Um, I love the sleeves with the gathered um, cuff and the bodice with the pleats at the front here and this waistline here. I'm never too sure about a curved waist. I think I might be tempted to make that just go straight across but you know that's not too difficult to do but it does come with a few options so you've got the short sleeve option and sleeveless um, and then you've got an option with this sort of tie front bit at the bodice which I'm not massively um, keen on but it's there as an option so um, I think that's a good one then we've got uh, another McCall's pattern and this is one I've made um, it's M7950 a little bit irritating this one because I actually had to buy two copies of the same pattern because this one came in sizes 14 to 22 and the other one came in sizes whatever to 14 and I wasn't sure if I was a 12 or a 14 so I had to buy both which was more than a little bit annoying but anyway I was uber keen on it <laughs> um, I really really love this pattern and not only does it come with this version here very sort of traditional sundress you've got this one here with the cut out front and the tie which I can't imagine me having the confidence to wear um, but it's a really nice style I love the fact that it's flat here at the front either side of the button band which um, looks really nice when you wear it on the big pockets um, so yeah absolutely love that and I can vouch for that one this one I have had in my stash for donkey's years I mean I think my kids were babies when I got this uh, McCall's 2752 I doubt very much it's still around um, and it does look fairly dated um, with this kind of empire seam up here um, I quite like this option here with the pleated front um, and obviously you've got the other option there with the ruffle and the, the gathered um, neckline does look a bit dated but you know these things tend to come around and so I'm clinging on to it in the hopes that uh, yeah it becomes relevant again at some point but again look at that limited size range then we've got this one which I think was another magazine freebie I thought this jacket could come in very handy it could be the sort of thing um, that I might want to wear maybe perhaps not cropped I could add a little bit of length onto it but I thought it would be a good basic to have you've also got option b on the jacket here so you can color block it and they've already split it into bands here which i thought could be an incredibly handy pattern to just have so although at first glance not very exciting i think actually you could do a fair bit with that could come in handy one day and this um, McCall's here 7536 is another one also look another freebie from love sewing magazine uh, but I like that bodice with the princess lines. Um, you've got the v-neck option and the um, sort of boat neck option. I love that kind of neckline myself. Um, and two sleeves. I do like this cap sleeve. I love how that seam line sort of transitions into the uh, line of the sleeve there. So I think that's a really nice one to have. And again, you've got two skirt options. In fact, I think there's three skirt options because there's one that's flat there with no gathers, uh, the pleated, pleated version here, and then the gathered version there. So again, a really good all round pattern to just have there in your stash um, yeah I mean look that's quite a lot of different options there so for a freebie certainly one to keep hold of this one here uh, is a project runway one from New Look I really like this style of dress it's very similar to the style of dress I'm wearing right now it comes in two lengths and again I think that's a really nice um, summer dress from New Look then 
another new look pattern and this is quite similar to I had a couple of patterns like this in my indie patterns from Stylark and this is just a basic jersey summer dress two neckline versions round neck and v-neck uh, two lengths and I noticed yesterday a dress that was very similar to this that might show you why I um, I've got a couple of these patterns so yeah I spotted these dresses um, on the Hush website yesterday so you know that's the kind of thing that I had in mind I spotted this one as well which is a longer length version so something like that I mean I personally think that looks really nice and you could do it in your favorite color it's jersey um, I think this is a mold dial blend but you could use any jersey it'd be really lovely so back to the patterns that's what that's for um, then this one which is a why did I buy that but maybe I was going somewhere I had some kind of event uh, it's princess lines again can you tell I like princess lines yeah certainly not one for doing the dishes in uh, this pattern here from new look 6774 I know I've had this for a very very long time um, Again, it does look a little bit dated, but I particularly liked this option here. Although I'm not a massively uh, frilly person, I like the, the neckline here. thought that was really nice. But again, I think you've got lots of different options there with the two skirt lengths. But you've got this one here, which is more like a bit of a bandeau, but with a halter neck. So I haven't made it, mind you, and I have had it for a long time. This one I think was given to me and again it's one of those it's not very exciting but I think you know if you have a fabric that you want to show off and you want the fabric to do all the talking this kind of a dress here is great for the summer um, either short sleeved uh, sleeveless or cap sleeve and then you've also got the tunic here and I definitely had a bit of a tunic phase so yeah I think it's a really good versatile pattern to this dress was a pattern that I made a number of times I don't have any pictures of me wearing it I know I didn't do uh, the frilly bits on the sleeves but I liked it kind of more like this version um, it just happened to fit me really nicely. I also quite like this little sleeve option here. Um, not sure that the flounce is for me, but you know, to each their own. This one again is one of those I'm not throwing it out. Do quite like that neckline there where you've got a wide round um, neck. But I like that with the gathers and I also like these sleeves which could always be sort of repurposed onto something else so not in any hurry to make it but um, certainly could come in useful one day this one is exactly the same sort of thing could come in useful one day fairly standard shift dress two necklines you know darts at the waistline and darts at the bust um, for some reason I've got two copies of this it must have been a freebie so next time I go to a sewing meetup, I'll take one with me. Another one of the useful to have variety. Um, reminds me of the sort of dresses you get at, by Hand London or um, Sew Over It. Um, looks like that was another freebie. Uh, then this one is out of print from Vogue, but I bought it fairly recently. I think I bought it on eBay. And the reason I bought it is that I really love the square neckline. Square necklines are very sort of on trend at the moment, but I do really love a square neckline. And I love the sleeves and um, the gathers at the front here. And I thought if you wanted to, you could even make a bit of a shearing panel in the front here. So um, I definitely intend to make this fairly soon. Oh, look at those boots. Um, and let's have a look at the line drawing yes so it's suitable for woven obviously drapey wovens and for jerseys so again nice versatile pattern um for me i'd want something around the waist i think and um, i'm not massively uh, a big fan of a tie waist but that's why i thought the shearing could possibly come in so that's definitely on my list of things to do 
Next up, I've put these in with the big four. Uh, there will be quite a few of these and these are patterns that came free with Prima magazine. And my mum used to have a subscription to Prima magazine. At one point, the sewing pattern was free every month. And then uh, later on down the line, uh, the sewing patterns came if you're a subscriber. So she always used to save the patterns for me. So this one, uh, at first glance, really very ordinary, nothing special. But the line drawing shows you that actually it's uh, got this elasticated section here, which in effect creates a dart, which is much clearer on the line drawing. You can just about see it there. And I thought that was quite interesting and that could be quite nice. Sneaking in under summer patterns, it possibly could be more wintry, uh, but you've obviously, you've got options there. So then onto this pattern here, which uh, is a current pattern. It's from Simplicity S8849. I think this is an absolute corker of a pattern. I'm gonna insert a better picture of the line drawings. This is such a versatile pattern. You've got this button through summer dress here, which I would say is very, very similar to the sundress from closet case pants is it called the fiona you've got a straight button through skirt here which is the sort of thing that lots of people wear in the summer you know you could do a denim version or a linen version i think that's really good but it also comes with the t-shirt pattern and this little cropped jacket so to have all four of those in one pattern if you ignore the styling and imagine this being done by an indie pattern i think this is a really good little pattern um for certainly for the money you've certainly got a lot of versatility in that one uh, I've got another old Prima one here, uh, July 2012. This is the perfect thing for when you go on holiday, isn't it? It's a beach cover up, jersey fabric, really useful to have. Oh, it looks like I got it wrong. It's not designed for jersey. It's actually for wovens, but yeah, great little summer dress and um, cover up there. And this one, look at the date on this. 2001 don't say i'm not a hoarder nice little summer dress never made it but nothing wrong with that this one here is um obviously a, a sort of fancy dress or a dressing up pattern but actually nothing wrong with that as a basic little shift dress um so i've kept hold of it i probably bought it to make something for one of the girls there's no reason why you couldn't make yourself a dress like that it has got bust darts and a zip up the back then i've got this uh simplicity pattern here at first glance i thought oh no that looks a bit dated but then i looked at that sleeve and just thought how fabulous is that sleeve um, and in fact I think that whole bodice section is really nice and you could even lengthen that sleeve um, I love all of that gathering at the top there all those pleats um, I'm not so wild about this part here but there's no reason why I couldn't do something a little different with that so I've kept that um, really for the sleeve. This is another one I've had uh, for donkey's years. Look at the limited size range on that, eight to 12. I haven't been a size eight for a very long time. Um, yeah, nothing wildly exciting here. V-neck dresses really. Um, oh look, there's a round neck version too. This is the kind of dress that at first glance you might dismiss because it's really basic, but at this time of the year in the sun, it's a really nice way of sort of showcasing a fabric that you love, whether it's a print or a plain. You know, nothing wrong with a dress just being a little bit more uh, classic and ordinary. This one here, I know I made and got frustrated with it and didn't finish it. Um, don't think it's a style I particularly like at the moment, um, but um, yeah. I'll cling on to it for a while longer. This one here is, doesn't um, doesn't exist anymore. You know what I mean. They don't print. It's out of print. Hallelujah. Uh, and I actually bought this on eBay. I've been keeping my eyes peeled for it because although cowl necks aren't particularly in at the moment, I do really like a cowl neck and I thought this could make a really lovely summer dress. Um, so at some point I definitely will make that. This one is also out of print and it's an old Michael Kors uh, Vogue pattern. It has pleats here and pleats here. 
Let's have a look at the line drawing. I mean, it's quite interesting at the front here. It doesn't really feel like something I'd wear at the moment, but could come in handy at some point. Uh, I know that I bought this pattern when we were due to go on a cruise with uh, my husband's family and that could be as long as 10 years ago now so uh, and I definitely didn't make it because my kids were very young at the time and didn't have the time uh, but you know it's an evening dress as is this one I like the back detail on this one this one would have been good on the sewing bee for the cutout thing um yeah nice neckline and nice back detail uh, i've never had cause to make it but yeah i do think as evening dresses go that's really nice this i'm really not keen on this may get given to the next um sewing meetup i go on because somebody will really like it it's just not my cup of tea but maybe if i worked in a sort of corporate environment in an office it might be the sort of thing an awful lot of pieces to put together there let's have a look at the line drawing that could be a bit of a headache and a lot of marking pattern marking to do on that one um, but yes i think that one may get donated this is a bit of a good all round another square neckline which I've said before I'm very I like very much different skirt options you've got a sort of skirt, circle skirt option and a pencil skirt option I think that I bought this around the time that the galaxy dress was um around you know the Roland bleh, whatever his name is anyway galaxy dress was a bit of a thing so who knows what year that was yeah this is another one I can't see me making this anytime soon but all of these are um, really good options for dresses. There could be a time when I'd want to make something with any of these options. So just holding on to it. This one here, I think I picked this up at a sewing meetup and then came home and found that I already had it. So I just think that I quite like the slight cocoon shape of this. And um, although, yeah, it's very simple and very basic, I think it's the sort of dress that I do quite like to wear in the summer. Nice, easy, throw it on. You've got the little pleats at the front there. You've obviously got the top version. Um, woven fabrics I think that could make a nice little summer dress and then I've got this one here from McCall's which feels a bit old-fashioned but as we know these things always come back collars seem a bit big but taking that down isn't really too difficult a job um, yeah not ready to get rid of it another shirt dress I think this is a magazine freebie yeah so magazine do like the way this fits at the, on this model here so one to keep wouldn't necessarily have gone out and bought it um this one is a simplicity one i mean what can i say it's another shirt dress really <laughs> i mean there's a wrap option here uh, same skirt on the two starting to see a lot of shirt dresses i think this could make a nice evening dress myself actually i'd make that really long in some sort of uber glamorous fabric if i had an evening do to go to which to be honest i never do uh this one's a sort of wrap style it's more of the same really and now I'm on my last couple and these are tunic styles and I had a bit of a phase of making tunics for my mum if I can find a photograph of her in one I'll put it up uh, but mum definitely uh, had a tunic phase so I know I made her one of these but this is quite a nice little pattern because you can do it you know in a chiffon and make it more of a wafty number um, different sleeve options and then Last but not least is this McCall's one here, which again, I know I bought a very long time ago. I know I made it in a linen, uh, in a sort of knee length option like this here for myself. And I absolutely loved that dress. So those are my big four dress patterns for the summer. So that's it really for the big four. It's interesting, isn't it? How very few of them were kind of massively inspirational and yet, I didn't really want to get most rid of most of them. A lot of them are just classic dresses that, um, you know, it does go to show how well the indies do it. You know, nice bit of photography, really good bit of contemporary styling. We're all 
sucker for it aren't we um but there are still some really good dresses in amongst that lot and certainly it's good for mixing and matching because even if you've got bodice from one and a skirt from another and even if they're different pattern companies or they've been made in my case at 20 years apart um, it's not too difficult to hack a, a bodice and a skirt together so there are lots of options in there and I'm going to try now to make a real effort to use some of those patterns um, uh, because for some reason I don't go to the big four as much as the indies. So my next kind of group of summer dresses are my vintage patterns and some of those are original vintage patterns and some of the ones that the pattern companies reissue. There aren't so many of them um, because I don't really sew a lot of vintage style patterns but there are some little gems in there so um, I'll come back and show you those so what the frock vintage will be back um, but it probably won't be the next video because I have been sewing and I've got lots of bits and pieces that I want to kind of yeah have a bit of a chat about so a bit of a show and tell coming up next um, and I'm hoping to get that done in the next couple of days so hopefully there'll be two videos this week. So thank you very much everybody, lots and lots of new subscribers in the last sort of month or so, so thank you everyone, you are all really welcome and thank you to everyone who's been with me right from the beginning, your support is, yeah it's great, so nice. Um, thanks a lot, hope you're not melting in the sun, if you're in Australia you're probably getting cold as we're getting hot, but anyway, um, I will see you soon, bye!